Smelly Louie by Katherine Rayner. Louie had just had a bath and he smelled of roses and apple blossom and he was not happy about it. Something was missing. His own special smell had gone and he wanted it back. Louis trotted out in the garden where he found a fox, and the fox smelt a lot. Where did you find your smell? asked Louis. Well, it's been building up for years, explained the fox, but here is something over in the bramble, brambles that might be worth a sniff. And Louis followed his nose and found ooh, an old boot. The boot smelt good, like moldy cheese, but something was still missing. Some nearby snails suggested he search in the alleyway, and Louis followed his nose and found stinky bins. They were overflowing with fishy leftovers and cabbage leaves mixed with rotten eggs. Delicious, but it was still not his own special smell. Some friendly flies were lingering, and they knew of something wonderfully whiffy just down the road. Sticky sludge. Louis wriggled and rolled and his smell was getting better, but it still needed something else. Then he remembered the Pongy Pond. Louis wallowed and splashed. His special smell was, was back and it was amazing. Louis had had a very good day, but everything had worked out beautifully, and he trotted happily back home with his special smell wafting all around him. The fox was very impressed. Louis sauntered into the house and up the stairs, and that was when he heard the noise and smelt a particularly smelly smell. Now his carefully collected, skillfully selected, special smell. It smelt a bit like, surely it couldn't be. Louis, come here. Roses and apple blossom, oh no. The end.